Let's look at alcohol substitution reactions in a little more detail. As we've already stated, a hydroxyl group by itself is a poor leaving group, so if we just had an alcohol reacting with, for example, a nucleophile like a bromide ion, there will essentially be no reaction because the hydroxyl group is a poor leaving group. For alcohol substitution reactions, the first step, whether it's by SN1 or SN2 mechanism, is to have an acid protonate the alcohol. When it does this, a lone pair of electrons from the oxygen in the hydroxyl group will form a bond to the hydrogen in an acid like hydrobromic acid, and then we would get a protonated alcohol, which would be a good leaving group. Once we have the protonated alcohol, the bromide ion can form a bond to the carbon attached to the oxygen, and the carbon-oxygen bond electrons will be donated to the oxygen so that we get the alkyl halide and a water. Only nucleophiles that are weak bases can be used in alcohol substitution reactions. Therefore, the acid that is usually used to protonate the alcohol will also have a halogen atom such as iodide, bromide, or chloride as the anion. Secondary and tertiary alcohols will follow SN1 reaction mechanisms with the hydrogen halides. In this mechanism, as discussed previously, the acid protonates the more basic oxygen atom, water leaves forming a carbocation, and then the nucleophile, in this case the halide ions, will add to the carbocation. Primary alcohols, on the other hand, will undergo SN2 reactions. Once we have the protonated alcohol, the bromide ion or other halide ion will attack the carbon bonded to the oxygen and at the same time the sigma electrons between the carbon and the oxygen will be donated to the oxygen to form the water leaving group.